Welcome back. Today's one that I should have done a long time ago. This is pretty much going to be, um, if you guys have seen the twists video, this is going to be not about twisting, but doing some decorative file work on your knives. It really does add a little extra customness to whatever piece you're working on. And I'll show you a few basic ones that I know. And probably further in to the series, I'll probably do a bit more, you know, uh, more advanced things. So I'll show you what you guys need. Um, this is really not hard. You don't need any specialized equipment except for files. And I'll show you a few tricks to help your fingers out because it gets a little monotonous after a while. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so first off, very, very basic set of needle files. These are extremely cheap when you order them or just go and buy them at a hardware store. Um, you have like this really sharp angled type file. I'm gonna call it a 30 degree file. You got your flat, you got the oval, or I just call it the eye shape. You get round, triangle, and half, half round. So here's the other thing. Buy yourself a chainsaw file. These things are incredible, they cut well, and they stay sharp for long, and they can get into some really hard steel. Then, for demonstration purposes, this is just a piece of mild steel. I'll be doing a few of those, there they are. Also, if you want to go more advanced, you can go into the Dremel type tools. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of these files, big combination sets, or just a bunch of sets that I just threw together. But these are awesome, they help you out for more advanced type um, filing and cutting on the spines of your knives or whatever you want to put this kind of work into. So, let's do the first one. Um, something that will help your fingers out is either like something like a popsicle stick. Cut a small bit off so it doesn't overlap the joint. And either electrical tape or masking tape. Tape it on. Or a piece of leather, tape it on because it's bendy so that doesn't matter. So you can actually, you know, do your file work and your fingers won't start hurting after two seconds. Like a so. Don't do it too tight or uh, this will start going purple. Okay, let's start. So first thing we'll do is, this is the old tried and trusted, the one you guys have seen so many times, is just that, that vine. There's a little offshoots coming out. So, the trick with this is, for evenness, is what I do. I'll either do it with a Sharpie, make my marks, or I'll start on one side. Then as soon as I have it in, you do it to about half thickness of the stock. That's how deep you file it in. Okay, so when you have that one, measurement wise, let's say I start here and I wanna do the next one, I will do one full rotation, so the thickness of your file, and tilt her that way and do that side. Put her down one thickness away this side, file her in. Or just use a ruler or any kind of measuring and put your lines in. Okay, let's start. I'll do the left side first. This also works if you want to put your finger in the way there so you don't slide with your file. So you want to file it in pretty much to about halfway the thickness of your stock. Okay, so now what you do is, is go right in the middle of these two. I just put this, I just colored this in so you can see the file marks easier. Right in the middle of the two. Okay, all these are in. So next order of business is Either use a triangle file, hold on, triangle file, or the 30 degree, thin on that side, thicker on that side, 30 degree triangle, 
your half round, which I'm probably going to use. Come on, focus. Half round or the eye. Now, a lot of people don't think about this, but let's say handle is back here. Tip over here. If you want your vine to grow towards your tip, you start filing towards yourself right after one of your divots. File towards yourself. If you want the vine to grow towards you, you start before, not after. So vine away, point the file to you right after your divot. Vine towards you, before the divot, point your file away from yourself. So, I want the vine to go towards my tip, just because it seems right, okay? It just feels right. So what you want to do is, is you want to go in between the two divots, perfectly in line in between. Something like that, or let's go over here. Over here. Perfect in line like that, drop her down. Start filing in. Okay, bring you guys back. I'm gonna do the right side first. Okay, so you guys can see the right hand side has been done. Um, with these, I try to go just past the middle of whatever the stock is that you're using. I'm gonna now do the other side. So, left hand side is gonna be needle nose pointed towards me and right in between your divots. So right in between those two. Right there, pointing towards me. There you have it. Half of it is done on that side. Other half on that side. Here's where the, my favorite part comes in. It's the cleanup. So just like this already looks nice. I mean, it's not bad, but for some added effect, if you go and you knock off all these little corners here, make them nice and round. All of these, that one there, this one, this one, if you just round them off, you'll actually see a vine growing. It's it's awesome. Just a little bit of cleanup work. I'll uh, quickly knock off all these little corners, and then I'll bring you guys back. There you have it, a vine. I'll clean this up, polish it up, and then I'll bring you guys back. And there you guys have it, the vine. Now, what's nice about this is you can go in and edit this thing even more. Um, you can split these little, come on. You can split these little ends. And that's exactly what I did. There you have it, polished up, the vine. Looks pretty good. Now what's cool about this is you can go put in some liners on the sides, copper spacers or liners, whatever you want, and it would make this just pop. So yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This next one kind of reminds me more of, uh, I don't know if you guys remember back in the early 2000s, uh, the tribal tattoo was the big thing so this kind of reminds me of a tribal tattoo the way I'll do this one and it's also kind of like a vine 
So what you'll need for this one is half round, a nice big one if you got it, just a normal upgraded half round. And you're gonna make big, deep half rounds. Bring it in also to the halfway point on your spine. Let's do that. Alrighty, one, two, three, four. I just flattened this top off with my belt sander and put some uh, permanent marker on it. So I'll now do exactly in the middle, opposite, same as with the first one. I'll do the other side. do these real quick and then I'll be back there both sides are done so now you got this little going on here so next step triangle ah, I forgot to hit the record button anyway turn it to its side and right at the tip here go a little bit to the right of it and file this in like that, just like that. And then you're gonna do on the other side the exact same thing. Now, and do this side. I'll do that off camera cause, just because of the mount of where my camera is. So I'll just do all these now. Okay, there it is. Now, last thing to do with this to make it all pop is these sharp corners here. Take that off and take that off. So what you want is it to go like a nice little swoop S, a nice little round S deal. Same on this side, those corners there and there, 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 and there. Take those corners off and uh, change the look of this thing. I'm gonna do that quick, bring you guys back. And there it is. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. Now, on a, a knife, when you put this on a knife, the spine's way thinner than what I got here. And this design looks completely different on a thinner spine. Um, when you do put it on a knife, you want to try and that little part there. You want to try and continue on that thickness through all the way oof, to the end. And just that alone, oh, it looks amazing. So the one I'm going to show you guys next. This design particularly looks good with Damascus blades. Why? I don't know. It just, to me, it looks good. I'll show you a picture um, probably on screen while I'm doing this. Chainsaw file. Okay, <clears throat> on this one the thing you need to look forward is, or the thing you need to look at is the spacing here. Because right here is what you're going to use your triangle file for. So you want to go right in between the two, right in the middle, and try and get a full triangle in.
Okay, and do the other side and bring you guys back. Okay, there it is. It looks really ugly right now, but I'll go shine the top up, put some permanent marker in the black here to simulate some uh, fort scale, and then we'll see what this looks like. There you have it. Some of them a little uneven, but just look at that, man. Like, that is incredible. Just a little bit of file work, and you're left with something like that. On a mosaic knife, especially fine mosaic, this looks absolutely incredible on. Pretty nifty. Well, there you go, guys. Three basic um, file work designs on spines of a knife, or anything for that matter. Um, hope you guys like this video. Just remember when you do hit like on any video on YouTube, it goes to your liked video page. Everyone has the same thing on YouTube, just in case you want to pull something up again for reference, or rewatch something, or want to show someone something instead of going looking for someone, especially if you don't know the guy's name in the video or the channel name. It's always on your liked page. Remember that. Other thing, next part of this series will be more advanced file work. There's a type of um, design I want to try. Um, I've never done it myself, so I'm probably going to fail. You guys are going to laugh, but we're going to have a good time. And um, it's one of those where it looks like chain, like links of a chain on the spine of a knife. you got to drill holes. It's, it's going to be a process, but stay tuned for uh, part two in this. And um, I'm, all, I'm busy right now with a bunch of projects. Um, about a month ago, I put on a voting thing on the YouTube community page, um, on my page where I ask you guys what you'd like to see next. So I'm working on a bunch of those things too at the moment. Plus it's summer, so fun times. Anyway, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.